everyone, this is Dekalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve the given problem. So, let's get going. Problem solve d square minus 3d plus 2 into y equals to 0. Given y equals to 0 and derivative of y with respect to x equals to 0 when x equals to 0. Solution. Given differential equation. d square minus 3d plus 2 into y equals to 0. So, let's see what is order and degree of the given equation. We can write the above equation as, here d is a differential operator, right? So, you can write d square. We can just write the above equation as d square y minus 3dy plus 2y equals to 0, then d square y by dx square minus 3dy by dx plus 2y equals to 0. So here the highest derivative is d square y by dx square. So order will be 2 and the degree will be the highest power of the highest derivative. Simply the power of the highest power. Here, we don't have any other d square y by dx square, right? We have only 1. That is, the highest derivative is only 1. The power of the highest derivative is a degree. Okay? Fine. Now, coming to the problem, which is in operator form. f of d into y equals to 0, where f of d equals to d square minus 3d plus 2. So, here we are going to find the general solution using the auxiliary equation. The auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0, where f of m equals to replace d by n, then you will get f of m equals to m square minus 3m plus 2. Then our auxiliary equation will be m square minus 3m plus 2 equals to 0. Now let's find the roots of the given, not given, this auxiliary equation. Split minus 3m as minus 2m minus n plus 2 equals to 0. Then take m common from the first two terms, we'll get m times m minus 2. Now take minus common from the next two terms, we'll get minus of m minus 2. Minus into m minus m minus into minus plus 2 equals to 0. Then, here m minus 2 exists in both the terms. So, let's take m minus 2 common from the two terms and you'll get m minus 2 times m minus 1. Okay. Now, we have m minus 2 equals to 0 and m minus 1 equals to 0. From this, we'll get m equals to 2 m equals to 1 1 and 2 so here m equals to 1 and 2 are the roots which are real and distinct right here we have 1 and 2 we don't have any roots which are repeating right and also it is distinct. So therefore, the roots are real and distinct. Now 
when the roots m1 m2 so on mn are real and distinct then our solution will be c y equals to c1 e power m1x plus c2 e power m2x plus so on plus cn e power mn x right since we are having two roots one and two you can take m1 as 1 and m2 as 2 then the general solution will be y equals to c1 e power 1 into x plus c2 e power second root into x that is we have y equals to c1 e power x plus c2 e power 2x right consider as equation 1 so here we are given condition that y equals to 0 and dy by dx equals to 0 when x equals to 0 that is y equals to 0 when x equals to 0 and dy by dx equals to 0 when x equals to 0 y equals to 0 when x equals to 0, right? And also we have, we are given derivative of y equals to 0 when x equals to 0. y equals to 0 when x equals to 0 is nothing but y at x equals to 0 is 0. So now consider 1. Put y and x values 0. Okay, firstly we are using this condition. Since y equals to 0 when x equals to 0. Then 1 becomes 0 equals to c1 e power 0 plus c2 e power 2 into 0 that is 0 equals to c1 e power 0 is 1 right plus c2 into e power 2 into 0 is e power 0 which is also 1 right then you'll get 0 that is c1 plus c2 equals to 0 considered as equation 2 now find derivative of y with respect to x okay we are having y equals to c1 e power x plus c2 e power 2x now differentiate it with respect to x on both sides or simply differentiate with respect to x then we'll get c1 derivative of c1 is constant right constant into derivative of e power x is e power x plus constant into derivative of e power 2x is 2 into e power 2x right so now we'll use the second condition since dy by dx equals to 0 when x equals to 0 then consider this equation that is equation 3 Put dy by dx equals to 0 and x equals to 0. Okay. Then we will get 0 equals to c1 e power 0 plus c2 into 2 into e power 2 into 0. We will get 0 equals to c1 e power 0 as 1 plus c2 into 2 into Again, you'll have e power 2 into 0 is e power 0, again, which is equals to 1, right? From this, we'll get 0 equals to c1 plus 2c2, okay? Consider as equation 4, okay? So, now, solve equation 2 and 4 in order to find C1 and C2. Okay. A 
is our equation 2 and 0 equals to c1 plus 2 c2 is our equation 4. So from this equation we have C1 equals to minus C2. Now replace C1 equals to C2. Sorry, C1 equals to minus C2 in equation 4. Then you'll get 0 equals to minus C2 plus 2C2. From this we'll get 0 equals to 2C2 minus C2 is C2. Right? So therefore... C2 equals to 0. Fine. When C2 equals to 0, you will get C1 equals to 0. Right? Or simply consider equation 2. From 2 you will get replace C2 by 0. From this you will get C1 equals to 0. So both the constants C1 and C2 are 0. Therefore, C1 equals to 0 and C2 equals to 0. Then 1 becomes y equals to 0 into e power x plus C2 0 into e power 2x that is y equals to 0 into anything is 0 plus 0 into anything is 0 that is y equals to 0 which is our general solution therefore y equals to 0 is a required solution this completes a problem. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. In the... Until then bye bye.